Hello everyone, here's some instructions on how to use Screencast-O-Matic to make your presentation for mass media. So the first thing you need to do is go to screencastomatic.com and you'll see right here there's the web address www.screencastomatic.com and it should load right up and it shouldn't have much of a problem. Uh, once you get there, it's really easy. You can look it over. You don't have to sign up for anything. You can sign up if you want to, but there's no obligation to do that. There's a button right here in the middle that says Start Recording, or one up here that says Start Recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it might take a minute or two, depending on how your computer runs, but it's loading up. So we're going to let that go for just a second and see how long it takes. Okay, so for me the first time it took almost a minute for that to work, but uh, usually it only takes about 15 seconds. So just be patient as it spins around. What you see is what showed up was this little box like this. And that is actually the recording box. That will You'll put that over whatever you want to record on your screen. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do what I did for when I give you directions on the uh, presentation. I'm going to move aside my browser window and I'm going to open up a PowerPoint. And here's a PowerPoint. Now what I want to do, I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to position my little box right around the PowerPoint. And you can do this. Now I've got two screens working on, on uh, this computer, but uh, one works just fantastic. So you just position it there until you like it. And it will only record what's inside that box. Now you have a couple options here. If you look down here, you'll see that there is a place for a microphone. And a uh, little microphone, there's a little arrow. You click on it and it will look for your microphones and you tell it which microphone you want to use okay built-in one or whatever I've got lots of them loaded up here then also it's got a place for uh, you to detect a webcam now I'm using a different program to record this so I'm not going to click on that but right here if you click on it it will detect your webcam if you want to use it and then it will uh, record your webcam with you in it as well you can choose there's a couple other options here as far as size of the box and whatnot and you can pick and choose what you want to do Okay. Once you've got it ready, then all you have to do is click on the red button to record. And so we're going to do that right now. And it'll give you a little countdown. And as soon as it hits the countdown, go! And we're recording. So looks great. It's my media literacy presentation. And I've already, you probably already saw this. Now we don't need much here, so I'm going to stop this. Tell them it's done. And voila, it pops up a box that previews it. And so I'm going to go ahead and play it. And you can see what it looks like go and we're recording so looks great it's my media literacy presentation and I've already you probably already saw this now we don't need much here, uh, so. all right there you go now you see over on this side now we have a lot of options uh, upload to uh, Screencast-O-Matic which if you don't have an account you can't do that and we don't so we're not gonna worry about that upload to YouTube not gonna worry about that one either we're gonna save this to a video file so you click on that and it gives you a couple options so you already set the size, so don't worry about changing the size. Go ahead and leave it whatever you captured. And also, I'm going to have you save it as a QuickTime MP4. Now, there are a couple of other options, but the Flash option makes a file that's quite a bit bigger. So use the QuickTime MP4 option. There are a few other things here you can use if you want to. You can add some notes, and what this does is let you add notes at certain times within your presentation. Probably don't want to do that. Uh, there are some other options here that you might want to know. So uh, it will show your mouse cursor. If you want it to do that, that's great. I don't. I don't want it to show my mouse clicks. And I don't want to show my mouse halo. So I'm not going to do any of those things. Okay, you hear my phone ringing in the background. I'll get that in just a minute. So I'm going to click all those off. And then I'm going to click on Save Video. And when I click on Save Video, it comes up and asks me where I want it to save. And I would go ahead and save that on the desktop and give it a name of a real presentation, whatever and then we'll be done with that. Now I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to save this one, but I would save it and save it on whatever you want, wherever you want to save it. Okay, now I've already saved one, so I'm going to move this aside. And I'm going to move aside my PowerPoint. And here, look on the desktop, I find that I've got my presentation right here. That's great. In fact, I'm going to bring back over my web browser right here and go to our website for our class. Now this isn't the exact spot where I'll have you save it, but I will under a week number 13 have a place for you to upload this. It's going to be in a blog area and what you'll do is go to a new thread and then go ahead right here and see attach a file and browse and we're going to go ahead and find that file and I'm going to go ahead and put the one on that I was just showing you. So I think it would be, uh, let's see, mass media presentation to that. There it is. That's the one. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. 
And then also, if you would, type in here uh, a brief explanation about what uh, your presentation is about. So just put a brief explanation. Of course, if I was really doing this, I would say this is my presentation on, you know, whatever, uh, the latest inventions in high definition television or whatever it is. Okay. And then once you've got that, go ahead and post. Now, this could take a little while, so wait until it's all the way uploaded before you click out of here because if you click out too soon, then it probably won't upload all the way. It'll interrupt the upload and it won't get up there. Voila, mine's already uploaded. I'm on campus, got a really fast internet access. If you're in an apartment that's got DSL, it might take a long time. So just so you know, be patient. Okay. Uh, so once you're all done, it should play. And uh, as you've seen, uh, you may have already seen if you watch the tutorial about our uh, presentation, then uh, it will end up looking at something like this. I'm going to open it up in QuickTime and uh, you can see what my finished product looked like. So I play on it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this presentation about your media literacy presentation that you'll be doing. All right, so there it is. So once you upload it, I'll be able to click on it and download and watch it. And so will everyone else in class. And we'll be able to see your three to five minute presentation that you've uploaded and created using Screencast-O-Matic, PowerPoint, or some other visual creator, and your voice, and of course a webcam if you want to. All right, now you let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, it should be a lot of fun project, and uh, I think you'll be able to pull this off without too much trouble.